chicken brooder and the heat within the lamb. So rule of thumb is the first week they should be approximately 95 degrees and then every week it should drop by 5 degrees until we are at room temperature and or they are ready to go outside. So in our case right now with us being in upstate New York and it being in the middle of November they are going to stay in the house for quite some time but we're going to bring them over to room temperature here shortly. Um, so right now we are at week two of having our chicks and they are doing wonderful. We are, like I said before, we're down to six chicks, but they are growing very rapidly. They're starting to get their feathers and which is really exciting and starting to fly a little bit. What I have in my hand here is a 250 watt bulb that we were using for the first week. However, um, I did kind of see that the chicks were starting to huddle on the corner a little bit and not being directly under the bulb. So I did run out and grab two different thermometers. I grabbed one of these old school thermometers, which works just as well as a digital one. And then I have a digital one in here too, just because I wanted to double check and make sure that I wasn't having the temperature too hot or too cold. And if you look right over here, it reads digitally. So this was just my second check just to make sure that the chicks were not being overheated. So after doing a little bit more discovery, it looked like the chicks were being a little bit overheated with the 250 watt bulb. I did try to raise it up. As you can see, we have relatively nice ceilings. I did not want to hang the bulb from our ceiling and ruin our ceiling and try to make a contraption. So what we did do is run to the store and get a 125 watt bulb. And that seemed to work out really good. It dropped the temperature significantly. So right now our brooder is running at 90 to 91 because we are at week two. And then we are gonna have to try and figure something out, probably pop the um, heating lamp right up on top of here to then continue to drop the temperature. So we are gonna have to try and find a way to somehow raise this up. I think the lowest ball that they do have is the 120s, but we've had really good success with the 120 ball. And as you can see, the 250 is a red and the 120 is a white ball. But we'll definitely show you what the chicks look like now because they look so much bigger, which is absolutely so it has paper towel. Um, we did just clean this brooder out, but they are very messy. But you guys can take a look at how big they've gotten so far. We've been handling them every day with every time that we're cleaning out the cage. They are still a little skittish, but the more we handle them, the more they're going to want to be handled. So I'll show you guys my little favorite bag here. So here is my favorite little girl. This is the Lavender Orpington. Um, very skittish, so we're just trying to handle them as much as possible so they get used to being handled. Um, and we have our regular Buff Orpington. This one actually loves being handled. I hear um, the Buff Orpington is a very docile and very nice chicken. Unfortunately, we lost two of our Buff Orpingtons, but I love this little one. She's very nice. Hi. Our Plymouth Rocks. And actually, these, these ones like being handled as well. They're just a little scared right now, but they don't mind it. Hi. And we have three of these. Hi. And then our mystery chick here seems to be, hi, this is our mystery chick here. I did a little bit of research, trying to figure out what we have, but I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer to see what you look like. 
So if anyone knows what type of chicken this is, we would love to know. If you want to take a little closer look here. This was the mystery chick that we got. We have no idea. Um, she definitely does not look like the others, but seems to be the alpha female. So there you go. Bad to Sunday, Bad to Sunday, Bad to Sunday, Bad to Sunday, Bad to Sunday.